Hey guys, so today uh, we're doing a few exercises that are basically defending the wall and we're working ourselves up to counter cutting. Uh, that means that we're making a parry and a cut at the opponent at the same time. But we're starting fairly simple, it would seem, which is defending uh, a, a position without moving and using only a low hanging, a low guard. So uh, one of the things that we often see in fencing is that when you're attacking and the other guy is parrying, his hands go, tend to go up high, which exposes uh, this section here. But he can actually do a parry down there and stop my cut fairly effic efficiently. Uh, so, so we want to train that a little bit to keep the hands down and still do the, do the parry. Now one of the things with a parry is that uh, if you just want to block it rather than a, a proper parry is that you don't have to go out here to parry. You can keep it fairly close to your body. Keep the tip at the opponent, aimed at the opponent. Don't go up out there because that will open up for the next cut. Try to be as minimal, minimalistic as you can in your movement. So I would attack Casper and I'll go attack his head, attack uh, the, the lower openings on uh, both sides and up here. I won't do any thrusting, I won't go for the legs and he cannot move. He has to stand in the same spot all the time. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Now for exercise number two, he can also utilize the, 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 higher, the, the, the higher hanging, so he'll, uh, the upper hanging. So, so he'll, he'll, he'll use this position or on the other side, that position. Now the thing with this is, it doesn't really matter which one he uses for which cut. All right, so I can cut here and I'll cut around and he'll just move out of the way, maybe shift his feet as he does so, all right? So, that goes there and then it goes there. And on the other side, you can parry that one and then go for that one. A few of these are a little bit trickier with the crossed arms and, and getting that right, but uh, you can still do it. I will only be working at the speed where I'm pushing him, not so much as to, to try to hit him every time. I'm trying to train him, right? So we'll vary that he'll, he'll when he feels like it, he'll go from uh, the lower hanging to the, the upper hanging and, and so on, right? right. As you can see, if I hit him, no big deal, we'll just continue. Okay, so, so those are, are two really nice things of doing. Like now we can start to, to rely on, on that we're able to, to protect ourselves. We can rely on our, on our parries, right? But there's, uh, there's another way of, of doing this even better, and that is by counter cutting to the blade a little bit uh, before we counter cut to the person, all right? So uh, uh, when, I, when I attack Casper, you can. He can just parry it, or as I'm coming in, he'll uh, bat the blade a little bit, all right? Now, he doesn't want to bat it so much that he goes, that the, it's a full-blown cut that he moves out of this defensive position. Again, you want to be ready for the next attack, so it'll be a small cut that he'll use like this. But it, it's enough to knock my blade out of the... the uh, the arc that it's going at, okay? <laughs> okay, so, so that was that exercise. Now, the thing is, uh, you, can, you can get a little bit more time for your attacks if you also move a little bit. So if Casper if comes in from, from this side on me and cuts there, 
and, and I'm moving out a little bit, or if he comes in from the other, di uh, other direction, I'll move out like this. It gives me an opportunity to get a little bit more time uh, to, to perform that defense a little bit more efficiently. All right, so, so he can come in with attacks and I'll back the blade a little bit. I'll move out of the way. Like this. So I'll, I'll still, I, I won't, I'm not running around. I'm not trying to use my distance management, but I'm, I'm leaning, I'm using angles with my body to get out of the way a little bit and, and to, to get a little bit more time and to take cover behind my blade for an incoming cut, like here, right? So that gives me a little bit more edge, right? So I'll attack the same exercise, but now I'm standing still and Casper is moving a little bit within a square. He wants to defend this square that he's got there. He's very fond of it. So I'll be attacking him. He'll be moving around in that square and I'll be standing roughly at the same distance all the time, attacking him with the this section of the blade, all right? So I won't be going in here and attacking because it'll be impossible for him to defend, all right? Okay, so these are the, the, the first uh, exercises. And and uh, for the next one, we're going to go straight to counter cutting. We're going to pause on that. Oops, we just switched places and I got gear on. Uh, okay, magic. so. so <laughs> sorry. Magic. Magic, it was magic. Okay, so counter cutting then. And what I mean with counter cutting is that I'm uh, both stopping the incoming blade and cutting at Casper. So, uh, so it's not that I'm, I've created an opening and then I'm just hitting him. I'm trying to get that technique in where I'm stopping his blade and I'm cutting at his head at the same time or a, another body part. Uh, now, I try to limit myself when doing this exercise, so I'm trying to work with only a few attacks. And it could be, for example, a Scheitel or a, a, um, a Zornhau or a Schielhau or whatever. It doesn't really matter uh, which, which attack it is. But, uh, but I won't try to do every one at the same time. So you can do, you, you want to counter with this specific attack. For example, when you're training shield, I will try to do the shield. Okay. So uh, I'll use the parries that we just went through. I'll use the, the cutting, the batting of the blade. And then when I feel that I have the perfect opening, I'll try to do uh, a counter cut, uh, stopping the incoming blade as well as cutting at Casper. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so this is a very good exercise for, for learning how to actually use your parries uh, and um, put some opposition against uh, the blade so that it's not just a static uh, parry. Uh, and also to, to get that um, counter cut just right for each individual cut that you're working with. So I hope you enjoy that and I hope that you can use it. And, uh, um, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, uh, please write a comment or send me an email. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again.